हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर सुभाष टेलर रेडियोलॉजिस्ट सुभाष अल्ट्रासाउंड इमेजिंग सेंटर भीलवाड़ा राजस्थान माय फील्ड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज अल्ट्रासाउंड एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अल्ट्रासाउंड फीचर्स ऑफ बिनाइन टेस्टिकुलर सिस्ट वी नो इंट्रा टेस्टिकुलर सिस्टिक लीजेंस आर क्लिनिकली पेल्पेबल और नॉन पेल्पेबल दे कैन बी टेंडर नॉन टेंडर एक्यूट और क्रॉनिक इन ऑनसेट और कैन बी इंसिडेंटली डिटेक्टेड ऑन अल्ट्रासाउंड High resolution color doppler ultrasound is modality of choice for evaluation of various scrotal cysts. Most of the intertesticular cystic lesions are benign and can be identified by their anatomic locations. Diagnosis of these cysts will avoid unnecessary surgery. This presentation includes ultrasound characterization of various benign intertesticular cysts. When there is a fluid collection in the scrotal sac we can even make 3d reconstruction of scrotal contents as we can see in these two images beautifully a spermatic cord appendix of the testes epididymis and testicular outline in particular now coming to sonar anatomy of the testes testes is thoroughly examined with the help of high resolution transducer in thoroughly in entirety from craniocaudal approach in longitudinal as well as in short axis planes It is well defined ovoid structure with homogeneous medium level echos. It is uh, surrounded by a echogenic line. Here we can see uh, by red arrows uh, is basically a capsule of the testes which is formed by tunica albuginea and visceral tunica vaginalis layer. This is another zoom image of the scrotal sac showing well defined compactly arranged two echogenic layers of tunica albuginea and tunica vaginalis and when there is fluid collection in the scrotal sac we can see parietal reflection of tunica vaginalis also as we can see by uh, this blue arrow these are two different images of transverse and longitudinal scans of uh, testes showing a uh, an echogenic structure centrically located on posterior lateral aspect is a mediastinum of the testes which is seen as echogenic structure and another important structure uh, posterior lateral to testes is epididymis which has head body and tail parts and echo texture of uh, epididymis is almost equals to uh, testes and on longitudinal plane we can see head of the epididymis on uh, abutting the upper wall of the testes in most of the time benign testicular cysts are commonly seen are tunica albuginea cyst simple testicular cyst epidermoid cyst ectasia or cystic transformation of rachet testes intratesticular spermatocoels intratesticular varicocoels abscess segmental infarcts or post traumatic hematomas now coming to tunica albuginea cyst this presents as a small palpable non tender mass usually affecting elderly males between 40 to 60 years of age it is commonly seen at upper lateral part of the testes the cyst is simple uni or multilocular in appearance and size ranges uh, between 2 to 5 mm these are uh, testicular scans longitudinal and transverse images showing a well defined small unilocular simple cystic lesion at the periphery of the testes in the region of tunica albuginea is classical of uh, tunica albuginea cyst it is non vascular structure it is palpable as it is sitting at the periphery of the testes now these are two images of uh, transfer sections of the testes of two different patients the blue arrow is showing again a small tunica albuginea cyst and another red arrow is showing a small cystic lesion located at sub capsule location is uh, basically intratesticular cyst so these are peripherally located cyst but are tunica albuginea and intratesticular cysts now simple cyst simple cysts are seen mostly in elderly males and most of the time it is an incidental finding simple cysts are seen near mediastinum they can be single or multiple size varies between 2 to 25 mm and these cysts bear all characters of simple cyst like imperceptible wall clear or eco free interior distal eco enhancement with no internal complexities like internal eco septi or solid nodule these cysts if are small are non palpable and if eccentric or peripherally located in the testes then they are palpable 
These cysts are associated with extratesticular epididymal cysts or spermatocils. And causes of simple cysts can be trauma, surgical intervention, post-inflammatory and these cysts require no treatment. Simple testicular cysts are also seen associated with epididymal cysts or spermatocils. And this is transfer scan of the testes and epididymis showing a small uh, intratesticular cyst seen by red arrow and another cystic lesion C1 that is shown by red arrow is extratesticular cyst of epididymis. Now coming to another cystic lesion that is epidermoid cyst. These are uncommon uh, germ cell tumors or cysts. Size varies between 10 to 30 millimeter. These are usually palpable masses and non-tender. Age of affection is variable between 20 to 40 years of age. At ultrasound, these lesions are focal, rounded, target-like lesions with concentric hypo and hyperechoic layers which gives a typical onion ring appearance. This is zoomed image of the same lesion showing a typical target like an onion ring lesion. Per operatively it was found to be an epidermoid cyst. In this case we can also see a small uh, ill-defined hypoechoic heterogenic area with punctate foci is another mass like lesion was a, another uh, epidermoid which was basically collapsed. So there were two epidermoids in this case. We can differentiate epidermoid from tumor by its uh, typical target like or onion ring configuration on ultrasound and negative tumor marker status and avascularity. Now another important condition is ectasia or cystic transformation of the rete testis. It is a diffuse dilatation or cystic changes in the rete of the testis due to obstruction in the efferent ducts. It is a benign condition usually asymptomatic and seen as incidental finding. It affects elderly males more than 40 to 50 years of age and it is usually bilateral. At ultrasound we can see multiple dilated cluster tubules or multicystic mars in the region of mediastinum and associated with epididymal cysts with no internal vascularity. It should be differentiated from cystic neoplasm like teratoma or intertesticular varicocils. The same case as we have seen previously is showing mediastinal multicystic mass with a large supratestibular epididymal cyst which is basically a spermatocele and it is associated with uh, ectasia of the rete testis. Now these are three different uh, cases and three different testicular uh, scans showing mild, moderate and gross uh, type of ectasia of the rete testis. Now intratestibular spermatocils. These are intraparenchymal cystic lesions seen near the mediastinum and rete testis. These cysts usually communicate uh, with the seminiferous tubules and contains internal echoes and spermatozoa and that's why they are known as spermatocils, intratesticular spermatocils. Mostly spermatocils are extratesticular and located in the head of the epididymis but sometimes they can extend within the parenchyma of the testes. They can be unilocular, they can be septate. So this is a transfer scan of the testes showing a well-defined cystic lesion in the region of mediastinum of the testes. Now there are certain conditions simulating ectasia of the rete. These are testicular teratoma and intratesticular varicocils. Let us have a look on testicular teratoma. Uh, it is rare tumor in children. It is basically intratesticular complex uh, mass bearing solid and cystic areas. And some internal vascularity can be seen with some calcific foci. And this is color Doppler scan of the same left ST showing some internal vascularity on color Doppler. This is per operative photograph and biopsy turned out to be uh, teratoma in this case. So this is again a multicystic mass but it affects entire testes. It is not confined within the area of mediastinum as we can see in the rete testes. This is the differentiating point. Now coming to intratesticular varicocils. These are basically multiple anechoic serpigenous or tubular structures of variable size in the testes, particularly in periphery or subcapsular area and on color Doppler, color flow channels are seen with venous flow pattern. Blood flow augmentation and reversal is also seen on Valsalva maneuver in these channels and usually intratesticular varicocils are associated with extratesticular varicocils. But in some cases, intratesticular varicocils may be isolated 
लोकेशन इज मोस्टली इन कैप्सुलर एरिया एंड सब कैप्सुलर एरिया बट दीज लीजन और दीज चैनल में ऑल्सो एक्सटेंड विद इन टेस्टिकुलर पेर एंड कायम अप टू सम एक्सटेंट क्लिनिकली दीज पेशेंट यूजली प्रेजेंट विद टेस्टिकुलर स्वेलिंग एंड माइल और कैल्जिया ड्यू टू पैसिव कंजेशन दीज लीजन शुड भी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड फ्रॉम शूडो एनोरिज्म इन विच शूडो एनोरिज्म वी कैन सी इन यंग साइन एंड टू एंड फ्रो फ्लो ऑन कलर ऑफ टेस्टिकुलर एप्सिस यूजली सेकेंडरी टू एपिडिडिम और कायटिस एंड अदर कोजेज ऑफ एप्सिस इंक्लूड ट्रामा एंड टेस्टिकुलर इन्फॉक्शन Testicular abscess can be single or multiple. At ultrasound, we can see a well-defined hypoechoic to eco-free or complex cystic mass with slightly thick or shaggy wall with internal echos and no internal vascularity seen. But we can see uh, slightly increased peripheral vascularity around it. In the typical uh, clinical setting, we can diagnose testicular abscess. This is a small subcapsular testicular abscess. This is 3D reconstruction of the same. another important entity is intratesticular infarct intratesticular infarct is basically focal or segmental infarction of the testicles due to occlusion of the segmental vessels and its causes are epididyma orchitis trauma or tumor or torsion at ultrasound we can see a focal triangular shaped hypoechoic mass extending from periphery towards the center of the testis with no internal vascularity and rest of the testes show normal flow or increased flow depending upon the uh, underlying condition it may complicate with necrosis and abscess formation or it may resolve to a small scar or a small calcific uh, focus it should be differentiated from tumor which shows basically internal vascularity and positive tumor markers whereas for intratestinal infarct usually do not show any internal vascularity and it is devoid of vascularity and in area of infarction no there are two sets of examples i am going to show you here first case is post epididyma orchitis we can see a thick congested cord and transverse and longitudinal images of the testes showing marked hyperemia and in testes we can see a well defined large in homogenic focal hypoechoic area devoid of vascularity and this is a zoom image of the testes showing normal vascularity with a large area devoid of vascularity is a segmental infarct with areas of necrosis and breakdown in it this is another example of torsion this is transverse image of the scrotal sac showing the testes in transverse plane with adjacent whirlpool sign and this hypoechoic area as shown by red arrow is a for segmental infarct this is the testicular scan of the same testis longitudinal scan showing almost average or normal vascularity in the rest of the testis except this focal area hypoechoic area which is due to segmental infarct so this is basically a partial torsion with segmental infarct now another condition which uh, we can see cyst is uh, due to post traumatic hematoma in traumatic settings and trauma can be blunt penetrating or crushed uh, the nature of the testicular injury depends on type and severity of the injury and injury can be in form of contusion or some testicular disruption or laceration fracture of the testes and rupture of the testes with associated testicular or extra testicular hematoma or testicular infarction this is a case having history of blunt trauma uh, transverse and longitudinal scans of the testis there is large focal area of hypoechoic in homogenic echo texture devoid of vascularity rest of the testis shows normal vascularity the tunica was intact in this patient this is a focal testicular disruption with a large intratesticular hematoma with uh, variable cystic changes due to variable age the patient was conservatively treated because there was uh, no disruption in the tunica Uh, to conclude i would like to say benign intratesticular cystic lesions are very well characterized by ultrasound by their location by their vascular pattern and differentiation of uh, these lesions is possible with malignant tumors thank you very much for your patience listening